Oh, this is gonna be good. And as if things weren't already super intense, check this out. Earlier today, after Riptide had already weighed in at 250 pounds, Adam Wrigley's brother, Eric, found the team backstage allegedly working on their robot. Hmm. Now, modifying a robot after making weight is against the rules. So Shatter asked to have Riptide weigh in again. This time, the bot came in two pounds lighter. Okay. That doesn't make any sense. Why is it 248 now when it's 250 before? I don't know. But it's no, it's scale. not the scale. You're right. There's something wrong. We made it lighter. So what? after the weight discrepancy, Shatter also asked to have Riptide inspected to ensure the team hadn't modified their robot to gain a competitive advantage. And here's what Ethan Kurtz had to say about the situation. So Shatter thinks we're cheating. Uh, we are not cheating. Their paranoia is affecting our performance. I think this is really uncool that they did this. I think after this is over, we're going to rip them apart. Now, Riptide did pass the additional inspections, and BattleBots officials also found zero evidence of funny business. Team Shatter was satisfied with those results, so the fight is on. But in a sport that's congenial, things have reached a fever pitch. Which team will survive this fiery, high-stakes matchup? Let's find out. Farouk. In the Red Square from Brooklyn, New York. If you have dreams of staying in one piece, they're about to shatter! Here is Team Shatter, Captain Adam Wrigley bringing up the rear. Obviously, Adam doing what he felt was necessary to ensure a fair fight tonight. Kenny, what's your take on the whole deal? Well, I think Adam's concern is understandable. You're not supposed to modify your robot after clearing inspections, and we still don't know why Riptide came in two pounds lighter. But Adam's clearly got Ethan Kurtz riled up. In terms of how that affects the fight, some people fight worse when they're angry, some better. And the Blue Square from Tarzana, California. Unfortunately for you, there's no lifeguard in the battle box. Watch out for Riptide! The sophomore sensation Riptide. Is that supposed to be Shatter swinging the hammer? Well, for a team that is getting reweighed and reinspected, they seem to be pretty loose, Kenny. Yeah, and look at Ethan high-fiving the crowd. He doesn't seem to be sweating it. Listen, with each and every bot-breaking KO they've had this season, the pressure gets a little higher. At the end of the day, this is a group of mostly 20-year-olds. Let's see if they can keep their emotions in check and stay focused enough. history have had a lead up like this one. After all the controversy, we know Ethan yeah. Curse is going to come out swinging. Yeah. It's finally time to let the robots do the talking. Uh -oh. oh my goodness! Keep firing it. 
Shatter wants more. Oh, going all the way and then under the pulverizer. And... No! Oh, God! Oh, oh. He fired it. Can Shatter move? It's trying to dislodge itself and get going. Get me off of this pulverizer. I'm supposed to be hammering, not taking the hammer. Riptide going back to its corner. They know they have oh. the knockout here, Chris. Keep firing the weapon. Get me another yeah, here comes the smoke on Shatter. I'm not so sure they can move. Now the countdown has started. The amazing run of the two seed Riptide will continue as it ends Shatter's season for the second year in a row. What did we expect? What did we expect? Oh, I want to know how fast they were spinning. We'll ask. Yeah, I want to know how fast they were spinning. Hey, hey, hey. We will find out. Kenny, that weapon on Riptide, in a word, Dominant. Yeah, and nasty. Again, you know, those long forks were allowing them to get underneath Shatter there. I mean, just massive shots. I don't know how Shatter was able to withstand a lot of these. It was remarkable because when you have a hammer bot like that, that thing can get bent. You're going to stop working. So kudos to Shatter, but man, ripped. Oh, gosh. Can't, I can't even watch. What Riptide is doing to the field this season is scary, Chris. How can you watch a fight like this, like all of Riptide's fights this year, really, and not be intimidated by the prospect of facing this robot? Unbelievable. As we know, a lot of tension and emotion going into this matchup. Credit to Shatter for their never-say-die attitude, but the moment belongs to Ethan Kurtz and Team Riptide. Their jaw-dropping run continues as they now advance to the round of 16. Ethan Kurtz, congratulations to you and Team Riptide. You are now 5-0 with five knockouts. Is there anything that can stop you? Clearly, Adam's paranoia cannot stop us, so I don't think anything can stop us. What does that mean? Wow. Uh, they had us check weight three times, multiple tip speed tests. We don't cheat. We did our thing. We did exactly what we had to do. And yeah, no one's going to stop us. Congratulations, we'll see you in the round of 16. Thank, Thank you. you. Hi, Adam. Hey. For the second straight year, uh, Riptide ends your season. How disheartening is it? Hey, I mean, uh, I think we put on a good show. I think we showed that we're not afraid of anything out there. We're an aggressive team, and we're never going to give up. Uh, I thought it was a good fight, and. As for everything else he said, I don't think that needs to be addressed. Fair enough, Adam. Thanks, as always, for your passion. Cheers. No, man. OK. All right. Oh, well. No. All righty, then. We, we tried. Clearly, okay. no love loss between these two.